Happy Thanksgiving, Chuck. November 21st, gobble, gobble. All right, so we got a ton to go over here, a ton. And I want to start with just a macro picture so that people kind of uh, get this and understand really what's going on. And what we're going to do is let me just drop this in the Twitterverse real quick, get this link out there. But I, I want to just focus on a couple of macro things so you, you kind of understand the, the landscape. So, um, and we kind of go from there. So, you know, it's really important to get that. Uh, da, da, da. Let me see something here. I just got a tweet from somebody looking at backgrounds on CNN and like analyzing them. Uh, let me just focus here. So that's a good morning. Let's do this coffee and charts. And uh, I'm going to revamp a lot of the names that I have here. This stuff, speaking out loud uh, as I'm reminding myself of what I need to do today. All right, let's get into it. Let's do it. So you're going to have a light week. We all know that, right? We all know this is a light week. I, I really need people to focus on this. I covered it in the private video today. I'm going to cover it in today's video as well. Um, there is a, as those that are have been here for a while, you know that the community is closed uh, and the, it is waitlisted. That's that's not going to change to the end of the year. So I, I really need to focus on uh, the people that are in the room. So if you are interested in the waitlist, you, you'll get an invitation to a spot. And then after that invitation, it expires. And then it'll probably be at least a month before that invitation is extended out to you again. Just FYI. Uh, and I'm doing that just to control the, the flow and make sure that I can speak to every single person that's in the room. So uh, it's very different than what I think a lot of other rooms do. Anyway, see what's going on here with the dollar. So uh, we're broken. Okay. We all know that we're broken, right? We can all draw, draw a trend line, but we, we really have to look at this and what's going on. And, and, and I want you to focus on the fact that you can get up to this 110 and still have broken the downtrend. And all that's going to do is take you to this level, right? So you can still get in this, what I refer to as a kill zone, and it'd be a great short position. Right now, you stopped. If you measure this on FIB levels to the end of uh, 2022, from the beginning, right, to the end, and you take the low and the high of the year, okay, you're at a 61.8% retracement level. Okay, That's right where you are. That's where you stopped, okay? Look at these as areas, not as exact levels. So you're due to bounce. And I think that's really important to focus on. And I wanted to put that out there so that people can see that before we get into some of the names, because this is really what's going to drive the market right now. Okay. That's what's going to drive the market. So I can't stress that enough. Now you're going to see the markets bounce all around today. You're going to see weakness and then you're going to see people get, you know, participate in other names. I'm just going to tell you right now, it's all about the dollar. This whole, the whole market's about the dollar right now. Okay. Um, in regards to the crypto space, uh, whether or not you like my short ideas or don't, that's fine. It's up to you. Um, I, I don't know how you're buying this stuff right now. I, you know, I'm just going to be blunt. Like, it, yeah, you're trading up, like you're not falling down, but this is so obviously being manipulated. It's not even funny. So, Eventually, that's going to stop, and we're going to see what the real price is. Whether that's up or down, we just don't know yet. But I just want to throw this out there. Do not be in a hurry to buy any of this. The reason this stuff was going up the way that it was is you had institutional sponsorship. You have nothing but institutions now just coming out and dumping this stuff. That's all they're doing is dumping it. They have no interest in having any position in it. So those names to me make a lot of sense. Uh Let's get into the some stock ideas here. There's a ton to go over, a literal ton, and we're going to just start here. So Disney, this is probably the best news that this company could have had. And I'm not going to suggest that you chase this. I'm certainly not going to suggest that you run after it, but you definitely want to be paying attention to this today, okay? Um, this is a absolutely huge move with him coming into the company absolutely huge. 
And I, I don't see that that's going to change anytime soon. Um, if you take a look at what's going on here, you're right to that trend line. You can see that on the pre and the post, right? Let's put that in. But you can see that trend line pretty clearly there. Let's get rid of this arrow. It's going to bother me. And we'll go from there, right? So I thought I got rid of that arrow. Click the arrow box. There we go. Okay. So you can see where you're stopping, right? But if we put in some indicators and just see how those indicators are acting, well, I like this a lot. And people will know this from the trading community. I like this trade a lot. The fact that you're hitting here, maybe you flip that. But we're sitting right on that line. For those that don't know, I use a 55. And you can just kind of see what's going on here, right? Tr breaks it, respects it, breaks it, respects it. You know, can't break it. This is what you get. If I can't break it, that's what we get. I, I can't imagine that institutional sponsorship in this is not going to be through the through the roof. Um, that's that's really where my head is with it. To be quite honest with you, I I just don't see uh, how that's even going to be uh, possible. So just you know, FYI, I just I really don't. I think you're going to have, have a ton of interest in this from institutions um, because of who he is and what he did with that company. So, I mean, you just have to understand something. Okay, this is, hold on, let's clean this off. Just so you get this, okay? This is all Iger, right? Just, I, and I know it's the timing, but, you know, it even goes back further to here, I think. But this is all Iger, right? That's when, like, Iger retired. And now you have this. Okay. And yeah, yeah, you have a really crappy market right now. Yes. So it's not all his fault. It's not all the fault of the CEO, but he made some really poor choices, like really poor choices. And, you know, now you're down 60%. Not every stodgy, you know, company is down 60%. So keep that in mind. And I do think based upon that, you're going to see a lot of interest in this today, a lot. So, you know, just keep that mind. I, it is definitely something that would be on my radar for sure today. Now, uh, software names. Yeah, they look all right. Uh, you know, you're seeing some, some love with, uh, you know, Netflix right now. You're seeing a little pop over that and we'll kind of see if that continues, but you know, nothing to really get too crazy about there and we'll have to see how that acts, but I do like that move, but we're just going to have to see how sustainable it, that move is. Right. Um, yeah, let's just say, you know, lately we've just seen these moves rally and then fall apart. That's my support level with it. So I'm just watching that very, very closely. Um, if we look at Tesla, uh, some other recall or something else is going on there. Look, this has, this has major structural issues. I covered it in the top 10 again, and it, this is, this has major structural issues. Okay. Um, I don't see how this sustains itself. I, I really don't. So from this peak down, that measured move gets you to here, right? At 88, 91 level, okay? Left shoulder, head, right shoulder. So I just don't see it. Now, we are short this in the trading community. Um, I do have puts on it. I, I don't see me doing anything with it. I, I really don't. Um, I really want to hammer that home. Now, the other thing I want to hammer home for people is focus on, you know, if you're if you're short, you stay short these names, but realize that they can bounce 20 percent like nothing. They're going to start becoming extremely crowded because uh, people are going to start realizing that they're going to go to basically zero. You know, some of these names, not all of them. And when you go through and you start picking the bones like there will be trades there, um, you know, I, I want to point this one out because I find this fascinating, like. No one is believing this company at all uh, on their books, like no one. And you're down again today. So I, I find that fascinating because let's say that they're like, and I don't know, I don't know, but take what I'm about to say with a grain of salt. Let's say they're saying the truth, okay? If you think to say that they're saying the truth and they have the assets that they have and they don't want to disclose it for other reasons, right? Whatever those reasons are. Okay, I, I don't know what they would be. Um, one of the key things that I would focus on is I would focus on if, if the discount. It's a huge discount. So keep that in mind. Um, 
you know, I, I would, I would really, I'd watch that. I'd watch that really closely. So this Netflix move seems to be based upon a video game being released because now they're probably going to try to do a subscription service with uh, video games, which they should have done years ago. Um, but the point I'm getting at here is let's say the assets are actually there. Well, you could actually short that and buy Bitcoin. And if you don't want to buy Bitcoin, you can just do this ETF, right? So you could literally buy this ETF and then buy and, you know, or short the CTF and then buy GBTC and just leave the darn trade on, right? And eventually they should go, you know, they, they should trade similarly, right? And and squeeze that percentage down if GBTC is not lying. You know, if they have the assets, they say. If they don't, that's a problem. That's a real issue. So keep that in mind, all right? But let's get to questions and I'm more than happy to answer. Yeah, I think you need to let's go through that because there's some there's some real things here we should probably talk about in regards to the indexes, right? So here's the spy. And what I'm seeing is I'm seeing a rejection of the 200 so far and I haven't broken 390 and I'm kind of bouncing around. So I I would just say a couple things that that you don't see technically on a chart, right? So Iger could come back at any time that he wanted to. He chose to come back now, okay? Taiwan Semi, Buffett could have bought stock anytime he wanted to, all right? Anytime that he wanted to buy stock in that company, he could have bought stock. He chose to do it now, okay? These are titans of the of industry, like legitimate titans, no matter how you feel about Buffett or Iger. They understand economic cycles significantly better than I do. And for them to start saying, hey, I see an up cycle in foundry chips and stocks. And for, for, for Iger to say, I'm going to come back in and save the company yet again and be even more of a hero, which is exactly what he's going to do, by the way, right? Within three to five years, this is back at all time highs. I'm, I'm, you know, this is one of those things that I will bury now uh, in one of my longer, you know, much longer term accounts and just leave alone. So now where does that put us? It puts us in a situation when we're looking at this and going, well, we're not breaking the 200. I get that. And I'm not telling you intraday not to look at this. An intraday, you have to look at these levels. But you need to start thinking a little differently. Why would Iger come out of retirement now? Why would Buffett take a position in Taiwan Semi now? Right? If you start thinking that way and understand who these guys really are, it should open your mind a little bit to what might really be going on in the economy by, you know, first quarter next year. Okay. You can go through a recession and the market can go up because the market's a discounting mechanism. Keep that in mind. So let's keep going. But in regards to the other indexes, look, SPY looks the best. QQQ, I mean, you're hanging in there, but this does not look ideal, does it? Looks like crap to me. I mean, it just it's, does not look ideal. So it's not something I, I'd be going near. Um, and then you have people with crypto too. They're just like, get me out of everything, right? They don't even want to be bothered. And IWM rejected. This is from the newsletter. Um, the newsletter is a free version in the link below in description. So when you see stuff like this, you really have to pay attention to it, right? And, and that's the point that I'm getting at. You really need to, to pay attention to what's going on there. Um, so let's, let's keep that in mind. And then we'll go from there, okay? And I really think, I can't stress enough that you have to watch this. I'm not saying it's over, right? And that's why I showed you the dollar. I really don't think it's over. I really do think that we could have been forming a bottom. I mean, technically you've, you've had a bottom in since June on IWM, right? So technically it's there. Let me just drop this in the link. What's up, Michael? Good morning. So let me just drop that. So if you're interested in the wait list, there it is. And let me just pin that. Uh, I'll pin that somehow on one of these. Um, hold on one second. I'll do it on this computer. I don't want to like throw a uh, voice on something over there. Go home. There we go. Video. Thanks for bearing with me. So what I, what I really want to focus on here um, is just that you need to look at the entire picture, right? You need to just look at this entire picture. And, and what I'm getting at is 
I don't know that we're bottoming or not. All right. We don't have that, those signs yet, right? I've got this little wonky thing down here and I keep rejecting this level, right? You know, it's like, it's like whack-a-mole. Every time you pop your head over it, you get hit, but just like that game whack-a-mole. Am I, am I old by saying whack-a-mole? Do people know, do, do the kids today play whack-a-mole or is that a you know, people that were born in the seventies thing? So anyway, you have to look at that kind of stuff, right? Now, I also would look at this brother, like, look, look what's going on with the stodgy names that pay dividends, right? That's why I think Disney's just going to be an absolute like monster trade. I, I, I really do. Um, I think that's going to be a very easy trade. Uh, Disney, to, to say the least, if you're listening to what I'm saying. So um, keep that in mind. Now, oh, there's my li little link. Okay, I can do it here. So you would think I'd get better with the interwebs. Anyway, so keep that in mind. This is telling you everything you need, John. It really is. It's telling you everything that money is pouring into equities. And um, that, that's something that we should consider. Monster, I would watch. I know a lot of people are playing this too. And they're right. Um, they are They are right about like Celsius and these moves. I, I'm just scared of these thinner names. I'm, you know, I'm not going to lie. Like the thinner names I'm most interested in right now are uh, the solar names. But the thinner names, they scare me right now. Because I, I don't know that we don't have a run on, I, I don't know that we don't have a run on what's going on here. Okay. And what I mean by that is I don't know that we just don't have a run on the market real quick. And that's going to scare me if we do. But for me, I am seeing patterns here that I really like in the market. I, I like what I'm seeing. So let's see how that plays out. Um, VIX is the VIX right now, man. I'm not even interested in it. You, you Dow makes a lot of sense to me, John. Udow makes a lot of sense to me. You know, if you're not looking out, look, if you're not looking to day trade, like that doesn't get any cleaner, right? Because your whole trade's mapped out. Like I'll, I'll map out your whole trade. Like you can just say it, right? So we break out, we retest. So there's your retest right there, right? So you see that, right? So let me just click on that so we can highlight that for you. So you can see what's going on there, okay? So there's your highlight and you can see what's going on there. And you can see 62.10, right? You can see that there as well, right? Okay. So your whole trade's mapped out right there. You flip, it's on, right? And what, what are you betting on? Well, you're betting on that you're going to get to here, right? So is that worth it? Maybe, maybe not, but maybe you go even further, all right? And that's really what you want to focus on. Or am I going to go even further than that, Right. And that's really what you need to understand and you need to focus on, okay? Um, and that's what I'm going to focus on as well. So just keep that in mind. I do like that idea, John, um, a lot. So um, happy Thanksgiving. Gobble, gobble. Yeah, expect a thin week. You can even tell in the room, like the room's thin today. You're going to have people that are going to be traveling a lot. So you're going to have a lot of that. So just be aware of that. ED, let's take a look. What's going on, Josh? I guess that's your car in your profile pic. Yep. These kinds of names make sense. And they're, they all look the same. Um, they all look the same. That actually looks better than the one that I own. Right? This is the one that I own. And this is one I bought for the, the community. Um, we did well with it. I mean, at one point, I think we were up 10 bucks, 12 bucks in it. I was off by, what was I off by? 80 cents. Um, I like them and I think they're going to keep going. I, I don't know that they're going to keep going now, but I will tell you this, like see how mine's kind of slowing down and hitting here. Like, look, right. You're still hitting, you're still going. I would watch how you act on that level. Um, I don't like buying them when they're rallying like this. I like buying them when people are puking them right? That's when I buy them. They're value plays. Be careful buying these kinds of names on breakouts. Now, I really like this name a lot longer term, but I have this trend line up here. But if you're buying it in this section, like look down here, just take a look at this for a moment. I mean, anytime you're buying this and you have patience down here, anytime, you know, it's, it's a home run. Remember, it's Florida Power and Light. And as well as solar, right? So there's a lot there. There's a lot there with those. Um, I like the Edison trade. I don't know if I'm buying that. 
with this here. I don't feel like I have any edge. And then what I do too is, so, you know, just this is more advanced and I could talk about this in another video, but see how I'm hitting that level right there, Josh, here, let me blow this up for you, buddy. So we can kind of get into this. See how I'm hitting that level right in here. And then what you do is you kind of just focus on it and go, well, every time I kind of get to that level or above it, it kind of puts a top in, doesn't it? Right. So I'm not saying that this didn't put a top in or that this didn't put a top in, but every time we get in this level, it seems to go sideways for a little bit. Right. So sometimes I look at the RSI that way and say, OK, well, this is because, you know, stocks have personalities. The personalities are the people that buy them. So you might want to look at something like that. I might want to see a little bit of a pullback before I get involved with something like that. But if you're in, congratulations. And I would absolutely hold it. Uh, if I was looking for the short term trade and I was in, I mean, it doesn't get any cleaner, does it? right? Rejection, test the 55, flips it, right? So keep that in mind. If you flip, look, if people really want in this, they're going to buy it as soon as it breaks that level. If you break 93.60, it's on, right? It's on. People are going to jump in. But I, I would probably wait for some kind of definitive move there before I got involved. Um, Take a look here. Johnson & Johnson. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, these are the kinds of names, honestly, that I think that you're seeing the money flow into, right? I mean, this looks great. And this makes a lot of sense to me. I have a dividend. I've got a low PE. You're going to see a ton of money flow into names like this, Josh. You really are. And I think it's a great idea, right? Look at this. I mean, that doesn't get any cleaner, does it? Right? And then you have the flag right here, right? So here's your flagpole, right? And now you're going to break your flagpole. Like that doesn't get any cleaner and this becomes your target, right? So you're looking at seven, eight points there. And that's definitely something I'd be looking at for sure. Uh, you know, there's no doubt about that at all. Um, I, I like Johnson & Johnson here. I think that makes sense. I think it makes a lot of sense, actually. You know, forget what the, what's the yield? Three and a half, four percent, something like that. I got to take a look at it. I can look it up. Um Ah, it looks like it's two and a half percent right now is what it's paying. I mean, they're, they're the kinds of names that are going to move. You're paying me two and a half percent and you're giving me growth. That's what comes out of this market. Rem remember this. Just remember when you come out of a recession, right? Hold on. Let me do it this way. I don't know if it'll give me this one or not. Just remember when you come out of a recession, like when you crack, right? It's the Dow stocks and it's the, you know, small cap names that move first versus the, you know, the, these names. And this took 16 years. And the reason I'm just telling you this very quickly is because names like, like you're on the right track, Josh, like names like Johnson and Johnson, right? Caterpillar. Okay. Those kinds of names. I mean, look at what's going on here. John Deere comes out with earnings this week, by the way, how do you think that's going to go? Right. Comes down, pulls, goes. I mean, this doesn't get any cleaner. It really doesn't. Right. So keep that in mind. Um, I really like that kind of stuff and something we should definitely be focused on. So, you know, just have to keep watching here. Now, let me just see something here. Why, why, why I have everybody. Just make sure I'm on the right page. And, you know, I just think it's one of those things where, you know, you're you're going to want to you're going to want to just watch these kinds of names. I think that that, that they're they're going to be your leaders. I really do believe that. And I do believe that they're the ones that we should be, uh, they're the ones we should be focused on. So um, let's just keep going into this and bear with me one second. I just got to pull something up here for a moment. So, bum, 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 bum. yeah, yeah, that's going to be an issue. Okay. So I'm just looking at one of my trades. Okay. Let's just keep rocking and rolling here. Yeah, I mean that that was that that was pretty obvious to me, you know. And in a former life, I used to work in uh, a couple investment banks back in the day, and that was just that was glaring to me. Like, they're, like their shareholders are not going to put up with that. And I don't, it, you know, it's not a question of politics; it's a question of profits. So, and he was doing an awful job. I mean, he wasn't making anybody happy. So, uh, what's going on, Timo? Hey, Daniel, let's do Tesla. It's a great idea. So 
I just want to caveat. I'm short this. I have puts on it. Um, I, I really want to watch what's going on here. And to me, I, I don't even know how you could consider being long unless you get over this level, right? Unless you're over that level, I don't really know how you can consider even being long the stock. I, it just doesn't make sense to me. So keep that in mind. I'm not trying to be like a, a Debbie Downer if you're trying to buy it. Um, I actually covered it in the top 10. I think I've been covering it every week in the top 10 lately. Uh, and the reason for that is just because I just don't see um, how, I, I really just don't see how this is, uh, it's not going to work. Like, I, I'm just being blunt. Like, I, I just don't see how that's just not going to crack. And that's definitely something that I'm watching, you know, really closely, um, really closely. And, and it's something that I have to watch here. So, you know, just FYI for what that's worth. I, I actually think you're going down to 130. I <clears throat> look, see how you're low here, right? <clears throat> see what's going on. Stock's hitting lows and now it's getting kind of tired. Maybe you can bounce. Maybe, but I, I'd be really careful there. Maybe, you know, I, I have shorts on. I'm leaving them on. <clears throat> What's going on, Michael? ELF. Yeah, I, you know, that's definitely been one that's been on the list, hasn't it? You know, it's definitely been one we've been looking at. Disney on the brain. I mean... This is one that we were looking at on the breaks and we just kind of stayed away from because we don't like profits. But in all seriousness, you know, I was just worried about how thin it was in the market. Yeah, I think you need to be extremely careful here now. I mean, these kinds of readings, they can last a long time, but you can also just have a day where you're like down and then you build. I, that's what I'd be looking for now. I, I have a hard time telling you to get uh, to get involved in this right now. I would I would be watching this very, very carefully. All right. It's not something I'd be uh, rushing into at all. Um, you know, I'd be really very careful up here. If you're in, congratulations, it's doing everything right. I mean, it's really hard for me to say, oh, no, don't buy that winner. This was our line. This is what we looked at, the failure and then the break. And then that was your confirm move. And quite frankly, it's never looked back. I mean, you're up, you know, from that move alone, right? I mean, what are we up? 60%. I say this all the time. If you watch these top 10 videos, you should be taking them and throwing them in a, um, throwing them in a, uh, you know, a file that you watch like on trend spider or on trading view, whatever you use, but let's just keep going through these. Cause there's so many good ideas in here. Actually. I like that a lot, but you gotta be careful here. Fib levels are like, I, I mean, how do you map it? If you're in it, that's a good question. And I didn't answer your question. I went on one of my tangents. Let's do that. Let's, let's map this. So how do you map this, right? It's a good question. How would you map that, right? So here we are. So the first way I would map it is I would not go all the way back to here with FIB levels. What I would do with something like this is I would use FIB levels for the year. So let's go to the year, right? So here's the year and you can see where the low is, right? And then I would just go to this peak on the high and then I would go to the peak on the low for the year, okay? And that's gonna tell you where you're gonna get to. Right now, I don't, I don't have anything in but 61.8. Like I could put in 73 here. Uh, let me just see, or 78, I'm sorry. There it is. No, I said 73. And you can see where the other level is. You, it's, what's fascinating to me is how this works. Like, right, you see how you just kind of stopped right there? See how this stops right here? So if you flip this, this is what you're looking for, 63. But that's how I would draw my FIB level, Shane. That's how I would do it, right? Remember, it's an art and a science. Thanks, brother. Appreciate it. Interest rates, I think, are going to go higher. I think the dollar is going to touch 110. And I think bonds are going to sell off a little bit here. That's what I think. You're welcome, John. Anytime. My pleasure. I don't know that we're going to break down as much as we're going to go sideways and underperform. Does that make sense? So I want to just reiterate that. I don't know that we're going to just like break down and collapse. I think we're going to underperform. I would not be selling NVIDIA now, but, you know, I, I just wouldn't. Um, I've got my levels. I'm overbought. I'm not in trouble, right? Like, 
you have to pay attention, like read the room, right? As one of my old managing directors would say, read the room. And there I am reading the room, right? So as they're selling down, they're telling me that it shouldn't be this bad. Well, you know, this is when we cracked, right? And look like we were going to go down and now you're up here. I, I'd be really careful here because I think you could bounce. And I'm going to just tell this tip to everybody again. Start looking at these stocks from January on and start looking at these 200 days and start focusing on the ones that are flipping the 200 because they're the ones that are going to start seeing a ton of buying, a ton. So as this continues, remember short week, tons of economic data today. Wednesday's crazy and we'll go through it all. Um, let's just see. JD short rejection. Let's take a look. Hey, fatty. Let's just take a look here at the um, JD and go from there. So, you know, reminder, you don't short when things are down. You short when they rally. I, I would watch that rejection like a hawk. Absolutely. Absolutely. I, yeah. I mean, that doesn't get any cleaner. You know, the problem is that you're just, you're gapping down. But if you look at this, this is your target. That's got to be your target right there. 49.40. I'm not going to move the levels, but you can see, right? So that's your target. Um, your high is this. I, I don't know that you're going to want to go through that. So maybe you use intraday for a trade and see if it collapses. Um, look, the way, to, the way to short China is to do the exact opposite of what they tell you they're going to do, right? And I, I just, I mean that like respectfully, but they tell you they're going to get rid of COVID restrictions and then they put them back on. I mean, it's just, it's very obvious, you know, what's going on there, in my opinion. They just are continually manipulating the market and they're continuing to do it and we're allowing it to happen for whatever reason. So I I would just, uh, I, you know, I, I think it's a real issue, but you just want to be the exact opposite of whatever, whatever people think is going to ha happen there. So keep that uh, in mind. But let me just, uh, let me click off of this. I really got to turn off you know, my email, if I showed you guys how many emails I have right now, you'd be like, what is wrong with you? So, um, but let's just, uh, let's just keep going here and just keep focusing on what's happening. So, doo -doo -doo -doo. Um, I like that rejection you and let's do Apple. So, yeah, I, I like this trade. I put it in the top 10. I think this is interesting to me. Here's my undercut. Here's my base. And this is what I'm saying to you. Like, here's January, right? So here's January, what, the 13th? All right, come over a little bit. That gives me December. I don't want that far. So we're just going to say there, okay? So look at this base. I undercut. I bounce. I get above the 55. Last time above the 55, it worked great. Broke the 55. Flipping the 55, get over that 3708, get over that doji. And I think you're going to push to that level. I really do. I think that's very realistic. I like that trade. That's why I put it in there. Apple is Apple. Um, yep. Please hit the like button. It helps me greatly with the algorithm. And um, yeah, I mean, this is the trade we have in the room that we did. Uh, made a dollar on half of it. Stop is now 146. So it's 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 going to be almost impossible for us to lose money on this, right? I, I'm watching this like a hawk because we rejected the 200. We reject the 200. So it's support flips to what, right? Support flip to what? Resistance, resistance, resistance until it's not, right? Okay, the 50 broke the 50. Rejects, 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 55 actually, rejects until it doesn't, right? Now, I'm starting to go flat here on this. I have a long position. I mean, I'll just tell you that. It's not, it's like a half position now, but I have a, I have a long position there. So I like it. Oh, you're welcome, Josh. I'm having a great time doing this. So, all right, everybody hit the like button on your way out. Everybody have a great day. Trade to win. Yeah, 